Now, everyone can trade smartly in stock market. With RHB Trade Smart, you can take advantage of its three programmed trading functions along with other smart features to transact seamlessly and conveniently at stock exchanges. Our first feature is the Stop Limit Order function. It is designed to let you buy a stock only when it reaches the price that is higher than the last done price, or sell a stock only when it reaches the price that is lower than the last done price. In other words, it literally puts a stop once your preset price limits are triggered. Here's an example for sell stop limit order. Say you own ABC stock at 15 ringgit and you wish to limit your losses to 3 ringgit, so you put out a sell stop limit order at 12 ringgit. The sell order will be triggered when the price falls to 12 ringgit or lower. What's so good about it? Well, it limits potential losses and protects gains. No more worrying about runaway prices. Just remember, for buy stop limit order, the stop price must be greater than the last done price or reference price in the absence of the last done price. You also need to make sure the order price must be equal or greater than the stop price. For sell stop limit order, the stop price must be lower than the last done price or reference price in the absence of the last done price. You also need to make sure the order price must be lower or equal to the stop price. Ready to place your stop limit order? Here's how to go about it when you want to buy or sell stock with stop limit order. Step 1. Log in to start. Step 2. Search the counter to buy or sell in this box. Step 3. At the order type, select Stop Limit. Step 4. Validity. Stop Limit order is only available for one day transaction. If the transaction doesn't go through today, you have to redo this order again on the next trading day. Step 5. Key in the quantity and the price you wish to buy or sell at the respective column. Step 6. Key in the stop price. The stop price will be the price that triggers the buy or sell stop limit order. When that is triggered, the order price will be sent to Bursa to be matched. Step 7. Key in your PIN number and tick the side box to keep the PIN for further trading transactions if you want. Step 8. Select Buy or Sell. Step 9. Click on Buy for Buy Order or Sell for Sell Order. Then you're done! Now that you know about Stop Limit Order, let's move on to the second feature, the Bursa Good Till Date function or GTD for short. It's commonly used by mid to long term investors who want to buy and sell stocks at a preset price. Your order will remain valid in the Bursa until it's fully matched or until Bursa withdraws the order when stocks go through corporate exercise, suspension, or price falls out of the trading range. If it is not matched or filled, it will expire after the set date. What's good about this trade order? Well, your order doesn't expire when the market closes. Imagine the hassles of your order re-queuing at the back of the line in Bursa, Malaysia, which only lowers the chances of your order being promptly matched. With our Bursa GTD function, your order maintains its position even when your placement receives partial order. The balance of unmatched quantity will still maintain its position in the queue until the expiry of the good till date order. With all that said and done, here's how to perform a Bursa good till date transaction via RHB TradeSmart. Step 1. Log in to start. Step 2. Choose the counter or stock to trade from the price feed. You don't have to reselect the counter again at order pad as it's pre-filled when you click on the counter. Step 3. Choose the preferred trading account. 
Step 4. Click on Buy if you're buying or click on Sell if you're selling. Step 5. To set validity, go to the order type, select the GTD and choose a date starting from next day and up to 30 days that ends on trading days only. No weekends or public holidays. Step 6. Key in the quantity and the price you wish to buy or to sell. Key in your PIN number, tick at the side box to keep the PIN for further trading transactions. Step 8. Finally, click on Buy if you're buying or click on Sell if you're selling. Our third feature is Conditional Order. Like the rest, it's a type of trade order, one that allows you to attach certain criteria to a stock order before it can be submitted. What it really does is that it allows you to place certain conditions before your order can be submitted to the relevant stock exchange. Kind of like an embargo. Your order doesn't move until your preset conditions are met. For example, you're interested in palm oil stock listed in Singapore. You can first check the world demand for palm oil. The thinking is simple. If there's a world demand for it, most likely every country's palm oil stock will rise, isn't it? So you preset a condition on a palm oil stock in Malaysia and set a price trigger. If the palm oil stock in Malaysia rises to a certain point, your order for the palm oil stock in Singapore will be promptly submitted into the system. Conditional order allows investors like you to buy and sell if the underlying stock is trading above or below a specified price level that you've determined. Amazingly, you can set your trade trigger not only for stocks in the same industry, but also for parallel industries or any tradable counters in the system. Here's how you can place a conditional order. The initial steps are the same as placing a GTD order, but with conditional order, you need to take a few extra steps, like the following. We start with step 8. Tick the checkbox that says, this order will be placed upon meeting this criteria. Step 9. Select the stock exchange you want as your reference point. Step 10. Search the stock code or counter name. Step 11. Set the conditions by selecting from the drop-down menu according to your preferences. Step 12. When all settings have been done, click either Buy or Sell. There, you're done!